Hello all viewers, I am your hostess, Divine Empress, coming to you with the Twin Flame Ceremony. Divine Life Partner Reading, for those of you who are in separation, reunion, whatever stage you may be in, take it how it resonates, okay? I'm going to keep it 100 with you from the rip, that's all I do on this, these readings. I speak how I feel, I am intuitively guided. Like I was intuitively guided to give you guys a message tonight. Um, I need two, it was 2.15, 2 2.16 a.m. <sighs> Let's see where this goes, huh? Let's see what messages um, we have. What messages we have right now? The master or feminine. I'm a twin flame reader, by the way. I normally just generally read on here for twin flames, but I do personal readings about everything. What was that going on? Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So don't forget to love yourself right now more than ever, okay? Love on you. Play songs that make you feel good. Dance cook, sing, do whatever makes you feel good, you know what I mean? We have trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. So love yourself first and trust that you got this. Keep faith, have faith in yourself. Trust your intuition. You keep seeing lizards and other things like the high priestess and stuff like that. Yes signs for you to trust your intuition and understand yourself better learn yourself better right now so you can know what exactly you want and what you want to give and to receive okay open up your heart and your mind to yourself um get in touch with your higher self allow your mind and your heart and soul Align so that you can become your best self in every way. <laughs> but listen, we got flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others, and that could just mean just that it's time for you to love yourself and trust yourself. Trust that you deserve this, you deserve to feel happy and loved and joy. You know, you've been through the storm, but it's now time for you to feel. That sunshine, what that sunshine in that beach feel like? <laughs> you know, um, we got healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay, so somebody could definitely be um, healing from inner child wounds. This person could have been had the you know flirt kiss. <gasps> well, I've seen them be saying. But, you know, at the end of the day, we all go through different changes and different understandings of our bodies, of our mission, of our lives. As long as you um, forgive yourself from the past hurt and trauma and make sure you forgive yourself. That's a big key in um, healing and growing and becoming your best self. So once you love yourself and heal yourself, forgive yourself, and nurture yourself, hug yourself, give yourself that love that you've been overextending to others. Now it's time for you to give that same love for yourself. Um, Shada and call it the rapture. For those who resonate, <laughs> listen, let me pull some time on it. See what's going on. How y'all doing? This beautiful morning. Today will be a good day. It will be a good rest of this week and rest of this month. You know what I mean? We going into April with a bang. Happy birthday to all those Aries that's out there. We're in Aries season. That's the season of the emperor. You know, the fool. Um, those who don't want to be a fool no more. And for those... <laughs> Of you who are taking a leap of faith for a better understanding, the magician, ready to manifest the things that you believe in, the things that you 
that she, your heart truly desires because it's the first part. And then they had been taken from you at one point. Now it's time to attract it back to you. Attract it back to you. Trust yourself, love yourself, nurture you. So that you can get everything that you want and deserve. Let's see what we got going on. I'm not going to make this a long one. It's going to be a... Well, we got to love yourself first. Okay. Yeah, I see the eight of cups. I see the four of pentacles. I see the star. And the and the magician. Look. That's telling you, you need to hold on to your own beliefs and the thoughts and everything that make you you, that made you um, believe in yourself. Get back to that, that stage. That, that point in your life where, you know, you knew you were just shit, but not egotistical. We're leaving the ego out. We're allowing the mind to align with the heart so that the ego is healed. You get what I'm saying? And you ain't coming from an ego standpoint. You holding on to this love and wanting to manifest this new beginning. You holding on to this new beginning and wanting to heal it. Okay, you had to cut out people, place, and things that was preventing you from manifesting the things that you want. Okay, it's time to heal on a deep level. This is a soul healing. This is a, this is a, a deep level soul healing. This is that um, inner understanding, that inner balancing, that third eye activation, those chakras beginning to align and open. Okay. And you are becoming one with your person. This person wishes on a star for you. You wish on a star for him or her. And you guys are finally beginning to come together as one. And you will, you will have star seeds and raise star children. You are going to be a star. Okay? Hold on to stardom. Hold on to that. That you're trying to manifest. Okay? Don't let it go. Write it down. Think about it. Dream about it. Daydream about it. Envision it. So that it can become what you want it to be. Okay? Trust yourself. Love yourself. Alright, what we got for trust? What we got for trust and flip? I see the two of cups, the sun, the ace of swords. Yeah. Oh, with her judgment. With the chariot. Ooh, with the temperance behind it. Okay, fast moving forward. This is major arcana. There's some major things happening. There's a big awakening that's happening that's bringing major balance to two. To two, not just one to two, in order for two to become one. Okay? Bringing up the lovers from out the grave so that you can fulfill and move forward with the mission that you are here to do. Okay? But first, you must become balanced with yourself. Love on yourself. Trust yourself and trust your team. If you don't understand or know where your team is at, it's time for you to dig and do some research on your own. You get what I'm saying? So that you can learn to trust yourself and your own judgment, okay? Your own intuition. It's time to move forward and trust your intuition right now and stop holding on to things that um, create the imbalance to yourself, okay? It could be things of the past that you may have done and your lustier days, you know, and your lower energy days, you know what I'm saying? It's time for you to forgive yourself for that, forgive others. Um, heal and move on forward with love. Remember to be kind to others because you don't know what people are going through. And some people may place walls up. You may have walls yourself. Don't try to bust through those walls. Allow those people to want to take their walls down for you because you're genuine not because you're forceful or have ulterior motives but because you are ready to genuinely take your own wall down for that person you have to give to receive and receive to give you get what i'm saying it's an equal balance equal give and take and once you get to that level of loving yourself correctly and You'll be able to love on your significant other and the kids and those family members that you're meant to break those generational curses from. Temperance. Somebody was very tempted. Um, somebody was maybe dating a temptress, and that could cause them to go into mistrust and not being able to trust other people. Okay, 
um, Lee and Kip put themselves first. They didn't really see it because they were still in a low energy. Look, dealing with conflict, fighting. This could have been actual physical fights and stuff like that. Um, with people, battles of people, opinions and creating imbalances for yourself it could have been family it could have been friends it could have been people that you consider as family but it's time for you to attract and manifest your true soul family the people that's going to genuinely love you for who you are and um be just as passionate about your beginnings as you are and you need to break free from anybody that's creating chains and blocks or to still in their ego that they can't see the higher picture Time to remove yourself from the crabs in a barrel so that you can see the sunshine and be able to get out and find a way for them to get out. Build a ramp for them. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, we trying to get to a level of healing that um, can just bring so much love, genuine love, and purity to the world. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, we trying to avoid that conflict that creates the imbalance within us because this is what we're meant for. This is the inheritance. This is when, this is your birthright. This is um, long-term relationship, long-term, longevity, long business, long big money, long, long. You know what I'm saying? My nail tech was like, oh, big, long, long, long. Yeah. But I was like... Listen, humbly, high priestess, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a humble feeling to get to a level where you finally get to the place where you want to be and you just ele elevate and higher. Okay, it's elevation. And it's illumination to everything that we need to see. Everything that we are, who we always been, but was asleep to, but now is awakened. You know, the roar that's within you, that, that passion that they're wanting to come out and sing. Yeah, your creativity. This is longevity in that. Everything that you want, everything that you have your eyes on, everything you have your heart set on, if it was genuine, you will get it and it will be long term, okay? But first, you must heal and love yourself and focus on your own self-worth and know that you are worth this. You are one in a million. You are worth being with someone else that is the same way and that will love you and nurture you. But you have to want that on your own. You have to make the changes for yourself. No one else can make the changes for you or make the mistakes and learn the lessons for you. But you can learn the lessons for yourself and love yourself and take care of you. Right now, at this very moment, the people that you are connected to and close to, we all still learn that. We learn not to try to break down people's walls, but allow people to open themselves up if they're willing. You don't rush people's journeys because there's no time frame. Don't keep thinking that you are running out of time because if you woke up today and you still got air in your lungs and you're able to breathe, then you're able to start a new day for your mission and figure that out. What it means to you. Okay, trust your heart. Trust your inner knowing, all right? Love yourself. Be kind and gentle to yourself. Okay, be gentle to your counterpart. Say a prayer for yourself and your counterpart. Namaste.